Hey, what's going on? Once again, it's JBIZ back with uh, another comic pickup video. So, as you can see, I'm on the Spider Man Kool Aid that's been going on. So, so, uh, so right now, <laughs> currently. So, anyway, I went to my local comic shop to pick up my uh, regular pull, and they said, Oh, come on. Why don't you get some of these Spider-Man books, Red Goblin? It seems like something that's going to last. So I took their advice, and of course, I didn't buy one. I had to buy two of seven ninety nine, Amazing Spider-Man. And then also, I bought two copies of seven ninety eight. Now, these are just the regular covers. You know, uh, I'm not going to spend money on a fancy-pantsy variant when I don't really uh, read Spider-Man anymore. But it doesn't mean I dislike Spider-Man. And uh, that'll be a segue to uh, a little foreshadowing to, to further on in the video. But anyway, two of each, $7.99 and $7.98. First Red Goblin. And spoiler alert, in $7.99, you get a appearance by the grandson of Norman Osborn, Normie Osborn. And... He also has a little bit of that red carnage symbionite to him. Moving on. So, currently, there's a rumor that Marvel is exploring starting a new Eternals sort of uh, movie situation. Uh, right now, they're just uh, thinking about it. They're pretty much on the drawing boards. I mean, I really don't know if this will be something that'll last, something that'll be ongoing or even come into fruition, but it's always safe to have some copies available. So uh, I made sure I went and sought the Eternals. Uh, this should be the first appearance of the Eternals, uh, the Eternals number one. There's also a 30 cent price variant, which I do not have, but that's, that's okay. So picked up the Eternals one. And then also the Eternals number two, which is the first appearance of the Celestials. So if you read X-Men comic books, you probably have a good grasp on the Celestials, being that they gave Apocalypse his armor and tasked him with the great job of eliminating the lesser races, even though a lot of the other races they created were created based off of past versions of humans, which what the Eternals are. In a, in a nutshell. And then number one, two, three. And then also picked up number 15 just because I like the Hulk cover. I thought it was pretty cool. Anytime you see one of these old silver or bronze, you know, uh, battle covers, I always tend to pick them up. Really enjoy those crossovers. Then on to something more current again. Picked up a couple spawn books. This is my regular pull list. So actually uh, unfortunate that my local makes sure that they get every version of, you know, every variant. I mean, I know they're not, you know, any incentive variants, but that's okay because I collect them anyway. Now on to what I'm really stoked about is that I am almost complete in the completion of my run of McFarlane Amazing Spider-Mans. Uh, these are just the ones I picked up. These aren't all the ones I possess. So right now I'm only missing one. But here is uh, 304. Three oh five. El Pitbull, Mr. Three O Five. Three oh seven, you know, Chameleon. He's a classic uh, Spidey character. I really dig this cover. I think maybe if I would get a signature, I'd probably get it when a black area is there. Although this is more like a, oh, that was probably like a seven seven point oh copy. This is like a seven five. Little Taskmaster, Taskmaster. 
Then, little Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Okay. So, Amazing Spider-Man 309. Some probably forgettable characters, uh, villains, I should say, in this book. But uh, I really like uh, what Todd did with the hair here. Then, here's uh, the next copy, which cost me a little bit more than the rest of them. But, pretty nice copy. I'd say probably a 9, 9 2, something like that. Green Goblin, Hobgoblin cover. Uh, that's kind of a taste on two different Spider Man eras. Silver and uh, maybe bronze. There's another cool one Spider Man hanging, hanging out. 321. 325, little red skull, onto the chameleon, 318, then last, another one I'm really excited about because I have the US version and now I have the French Canadian version. On thin ice. That's what it says. Just take my word for it. And I just thought it was like a really obscure Todd McFarlane cover. I think I might have shown this in a past video, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I have two of the three covers of this. There's another Canadian version, which is actually in English. And the small box up here in the corner, it just has the number one by itself without the actual pricing in there. But uh, thank you guys for watching my video, all those who subscribed and subscribed in the past and newly, newly subscribed subscribers. Oh, tongue twister. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Uh, I'll be back again. Actually, uh, picked up a pretty good run of spawn books. Um, and they came out pretty high quality, you know, uh, they were very, uh, good condition. So I'll be sharing that with you guys next, but until then, thank you so much and take care.